Hello and welcome back to yet another video of a value. And you know, I, I I mentioned on the on the previous one that I thought I'd already done attitude, but today is the day. I'm excited about this because this is the value of attitude. And you know, I've I've already done these as Facebook lives, but because I interact with people more and more, and um, these videos become a little bit longer. So I thought, well, I'll, for this series, I'll do them again, and uh, that that shortens them uh, considerably and you just get exactly what's in the values if you want to 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 partake in these conversations and add comments to the facebook pages you're welcome on my page or key leadership page as well but here we go and there is so many things that i can say about a positive attitude but it is a, a tremendous value and you know attitude is everything it is absolutely everything i just want to give you a quote as well that um it says nothing can stop a man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal and nothing on earth can help the man with a wrong mental attitude. And that's a quote by the late uh, Thomas Jefferson, of course. But attitude is an inward feeling that we express outwardly. And it's, it's, it's magnificent if you do it positive. You know, often our attitude can be detected without us saying anything. You know, you might have heard the saying that everybody lights up a room. Some people when they come in and other people when they leave. What kind of person are you? Are you somebody who brightens a room when they walk in? Or are you a person who brightens a room when they, they leave because you're negative and always complaining and a life so bad? It's all about attitude. And attitude is a choice. Attitude plays a huge role in everyday life. Now, there is a definite connection between attitude and success. Now, and, and you have a look at people who become successful. They're very rarely miserable. There is an exception to every rule, of course. And some people had a lot of money and they became, became miserable, but that's a choice. And you, you, you might, if you're going to be miserable, be miserable when you're rich. It makes life a little bit easier than be miserable when you're, when you're poor. I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm being a bit, uh, a bit flop, flippant, but uh, flippant, but flippant. It's a live show, but you know, it is so important that we have the right attitude, and 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 that's something that because all these values are things that we can work on. So I, I, I you know already that I'm going to give you a couple of steps uh, to follow how to get a better attitude. But I will talk about this anyway because uh, people sometimes mistaken this, this, that happiness having a positive attitude does not mean that we are always happy about everything that happens. You know, we're not these happy clappy kind of people and there's nothing wrong with happy clappy kind of people, by the way, but it's not about happy clappy kind of people. No, it's about how we respond to life when things do happen to us as well. See, it's always easy to have a positive attitude if everything goes right, but if you have lived for a while, you know that doesn't happen. So when things go wrong, and around the world, there is a lot of things that are going wrong just now. We're in a crisis around the world. And, 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 and I talk about it in leadership as well as a leadership consultant, that this is the time when we really find out who real leaders are. I mean, even leading is easy when everything goes right in an organization, in a country, in a community. But when things go wrong, that shows the real character of a leader. And, and if you haven't looked around, leadership has been failing for a long time around the world due to a lack of values. And it is even more apparent at these times. And I'm sad and angry about how this is happening. You know, Churchill would have turned in his grave because he took, us to, he took the UK through the Second World War and blood, sweat and tears. You know the story, but he also said, never, never, never give up. And that was, that is, he has quotes about attitude as well, you know, positive attitude. You need to go from failure to failure until you find success. And that's not the right quote, but he, many, there's many uh, quotes that can be found. There. Zig Ziglar, he always talks about it as well. You know, it is a positive attitude. It's like a bath. You know, you need to work on it every day. And there is so much of it, but we can choose this. See, the attitude we choose affects how we approach every day's aspects of our life. Often, when we have difficulty dealing with others, an attitude issue is at the root of the problem. Now, think about that. It is often the attitude from one or both that is the problem. I just did a value, the value of conflict resolution, and I will very shortly do one about confrontation as well. And it, it, they also have to do with attitude. 
many values come into them because I said they're all inter interacted and intertwined with each other. That's why it's so good to, to, to learn something about every single one of them. See, our, our attitude also affects how we cope with change and how we grow from failures. Positive attitude. Les Brown, my friend and mentor Les Brown says, when you fall down, make sure you fall on your back because when you can look up, you can get up. And that is about positive attitude too. And Muhammad Ali was asked once why when he, when he gets knocked down, he doesn't stay on the canvas for long enough because he can, he can have a 10 count. He says the canvas is no place for a champion. There you go, attitude. And he had plenty of it. As if you, I mean, I love this, this, this amazing boxer. And, and, and his attitude to life. And some people thought he was arrogant, but he, it was positive affirmations in his own life. And there's a whole different, uh, a whole series about positive affirmations as well. But, it, it, you know, Sir Winston Churchill had another quote and he said, attitude is a little thing which makes a big difference. Now think about that. What is your attitude like? Are you reacting to everything that happens around you? Or are you acting from within? Uh, because that means that you are responding when things happen. See the difference between responding and reacting? Reacting you do because outside influences come to you. But if you respond, you, you actually think a little bit before you actually answer or before you do something. And that is also something that takes a positive attitude. It is actually known that positive attitude, it, it, people with positive attitude still have problems. They still get sick as well. But it's already been prov proven that people with a positive attitude heal quicker, they get ill less often, and they have a better chance of success. There, there was even a hospital ward where they have the uh, fully designated to only positive uh, nursing. They had funny films because happiness, though, so they had um, funny films and all kinds of uplifting things happening, and the people in there cured far quicker than people in any other wards. Positive attitude makes a real difference. And, you know, the late uh, Charlie Tremendous Jones said there is three things that will de decide how you live the rest of your life. The things you hear, the, the, the things you read, and the people you associate with. Now, some of you actually switch the, the, the news on first thing in the morning and then wonder why you've got a bad day. That, that affects your attitude. There is plenty of things that negatively affect your attitude and put it on the, the news. We don't need to hear everything that goes on in the world. I have not bought a newspaper for more than 30 years. Personal choice. I have no television. Personal choice. And I certainly don't put on the news in the morning one way or another. Um, but I put on something motivational every morning. And the things you read as well. Some people get the newspaper delivered so the first thing in the morning they can sit down with breakfast and read the newspaper. And they're full of negativity when they leave the house already. A choice? Of course. And then people you associate with. Some of the, you are surrounding yourself. I'm not talking just about your, your immediate family and your, your, your spouse and your children, but the people you normally associate with on a regular basis. And many of them, are, if they are negative, say the, the five closest people to you, if they're negative, you're probably a negative person yourself. If they're poor, they, you're probably broke yourself. If they are, and you can put, you probably, if they are successful, there's more likely that you're successful yourself. So some of you might have to look at the things you read uh, and, and start looking at some more positive material. There is plenty of it on the internet right now at your fingertips. Some of you might have to look at the, the things they listen to in the morning because it's not only in the morning, it's at night as well. When you listen to negative stuff, at, the last thing at night, oh, I'll just have a quick look what happens on the news and they hear murders and, 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 and suicides and cancer and, and the diseases and all this other kind of stuff. And, and then they wonder why they have no good sleep and they wake up in the, in the morning already miserable because the last thing you hear at night is what you think about subconsciously all night long. So. In the morning, start with something positive, and at night, before the last thing you do, put something positive. Maybe it's a TED talk, maybe it's a Les Brown, Zig Ziglar, uh, Tony Robbins, or, 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 or Reverend T.D. Jakes, uh, Reverend T.D. Jakes, a uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes, sorry, uh, or, or anybody else who's, who you find is positive source of, of, of motivation for you, and then go to sleep. You feel a lot better already. And as for you, you, the people around you, some of you might have to spend an awful lot less time with the people you at the moment associate with. And you oh, but do you, do you tell me I've got to get rid of my friends? No, I don't tell you that. But some of the people you, who are your friends who are very negative, you might have to spend less time with them. Don't discard anybody ever. I never said that. But you might have to spend some less time and find some other people you need to spend more time with. Your choice. Um, 
some benefits, of course, to practice to, be, to, to, to practice the value of attitude. Um, you will experience growth. And when your attitude is positive, your mind expands and progress begins. And that's a daily thing. Personal development is a daily thing, not a one day thing, because that leads you to success. And success is always uphill. So put your hiking boots on and start climbing. You decide how steep that hill gets, but if you do it every day, that that still is not steep. That hill is not half as steep. But if you do it only very very seldom, that that hill gets an awful lot steeper to climb. But it, you either climb it or you slide down. That's a choice. And the second benefit is that you will enjoy life more. The journey will become as exciting as the destination. And life is exciting if you have a if you decide to have a positive attitude and 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 respond and 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 you know, start making decisions from within. It, it makes life so much more exciting. Now, the characteristics of a person with a good attitude is that, and I'll give you two as well, that these people choose to look for the be best in every situation. They believe, they believe in, in, in all kinds of things and they believe in, in themselves and others. That's powerful. And the second thing is, these people do not give up easily and make it a point to stay focused and optimistic. They frequently evaluate and adjust their attitude. See, sometimes it is easy for the attitude to go, go a bit and you need to find out, oh, where am I at at the moment? And why is my attitude sagging? Oh, then do something about it. I want to talk to you very briefly about a book that is a little book. I saw it again today in a bookshop, uh, actually, and it's Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. And just so you realize that it's a choice. Now, Viktor Frankl was, was, is, was a Jew. He, he's passed away now, but Viktor Frankl was a Jew who survived the concentration camps in, in the Second World War when all his family and everybody around him was dying. Now, did they... They all were going through the same circumstances. They all had the same things happening to them. But this is what he said about this. See, there is one thing that nobody can ever take away from you. And that is your, your choice. Your choice, the, the freedom to choose, he said. The freedom to choose your own attitude. Now, if Viktor Frankl could do that and survive the concentration camps, I'm sure you can do something to choose a better attitude for yourself in the circumstances you find yourself. It might seem dark at the moment, but there's light at the end of the tunnel as long as you start having a more positive attitude. Read that book for Viktor Frankl. It's very thin, but it's so powerful. And when you read that, you think, well, why, who am I that I cannot have a positive attitude? My, the, 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 the problems and the challenges I've got are insignificant to what he went through. And yes, that's what he said. The freedom to choose, the freedom to choose your own attitude. So there is, here is two steps to get a better attitude. Change your thought patterns. Spend time with positive people and choose reading material and media that will encourage a good attitude. Remember Charlie Jones, the things you read, the things you hear and the people you associate with and change your thought patterns. You're not, you're not a tree so you can always move. I hope that makes sense. I love this. Change your thought pattern. And the second one is identify valuable lessons in adversity. Now, that is powerful because you can make a list of the, of the ideas and insights you gain from the setbacks you encounter and, and, and take action based on what you learned from your negative experiences. See, that's what we need to do every day. Knowledge is not power. So that's why I want you to take action on this kind of stuff because knowledge just fills your head with more information. You, be, you make your head a bigger library. But knowledge acted upon is powerful so and also then if you evaluate that action every night that becomes even more powerful because you know if you look every night you now act on on this and every night you ask yourself what did i do right today what did i do wrong today what do i need to approve on and what do, do i need to disc this disregard altogether or or get rid of and when you can do that that's called experience so if you get exp good experiences from from bad situations then you'll learn something and then you can go into tomorrow making sure that you're better prepared and, and 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 you have a better day tomorrow because no doubt you won't make the same mistake twice and experience always comes after an event not before but again my two my my, my one question for you is what action will you take today and i say if it's late to do it tomorrow morning but what action step will you do today or tomorrow to make sure that you 
start getting a better attitude. Start improving your attitude. Because life is all about the attitude you have. Your success or failure depends on your attitude. On, on the person looking in the mirror every single day. Nobody else. So if you want to blame somebody, ask the questions to the person in the mirror, blame them, but then say, okay, what can I do now? That's done. Nobody else can do this. Do it yourself. What can I do now to get a better attitude? And you can practice that every single day. This is the value of attitude. I hope you got a lot out of it. And I will see you for the next value very shortly. Take care.